The Pan African Institute should therefore provide ideological, political, and te technical weapons to all progressive forces of the African continent to fight against colonialism. There is a political trend that is being accepted by African heads of state and government where one country convinces all 54 heads of African states and government. The United States of America, France, China, Russia, and United Kingdom convene all 54 heads of states and government for a meeting, and they all go following each other like Casey and Jojo as a head of states to listen to one head of state, 51 of them. Sometimes they disrespect them to a point where they put all 54 heads of states of Africa in a school bus to go and listen to one head of state. What happened to these men? Because all of them, majority of them are men. What happened to these fathers who go and bow combined to one man? Even if it's Putin, why would they all follow each other and go and listen to one person? What happened to their dignity and their authority as leadership? They must have leadership qualities to know that Putin is equal to them, that China is equal to their own single country, irrespective of their size, because what matters is sovereignty. And if China recognizes that sovereignty, will respect the president of that sovereign country as an individual.